It's boss time! Here comes Sasha! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks! Byron, it's always a treat to see Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has her own swag, she's got her own confidence, and she knows how to back it up. If there's a camera around, Sasha wants to be in front of it. If there's a spotlight out, she wants to be in the middle of it. Sasha Banks once stood in line for the opening of a refrigerator. It all began here at NXT, and since then there hasn't been a spotlight Sasha hasn't tried to jump into. There's no doubt, though, she is one of the all-time greats, and she's come back home to NXT. If you don't believe she's one of the all-time greats, just and ask her, her she'll partner, tell you. From Staten Island, New York, the Divas champion, the Princess of Staten Island, Carmella. Homegrown right here at NXT. Byron, are you ready to admit the truth yet? That Carmella's the most obnoxious woman in the entire women's division? You are delusional. Mella is money. Carmella, unbelievable career thus far in WWE. And the sky's the limit for this young lady. Yes, she would have you believe that she has done it all. She, she has. has! By herself. What are you guys, both on the bandwagon or something? I started the bandwagon. these girls and their opponents Peyton Royce and Billy Kay the Iconics Byron you only harbor ill will toward Peyton and Billy because you can't sit with them in catering uh absolutely not I harbor ill will towards them because I've never seen two ladies who derive so much joy from gossiping and tossing shade at anyone they choose. Well, Peyton and Billy simply enjoy one another's company and spreading the good word around the locker room. Like, I might not be a huge fan of their personalities, but they do have an incredible story. Started out together in Sydney, Australia, came to WWE, signed their contracts at the same time, and now here they are, ready to compete on the big stage. You must have read about that on the internet, Saxton, because I know Peyton and Billy don't talk to you. Look at this, the Iconics shining bright on pay-per-view. Stunning. This is it, tag team action underway here, guys. These superstars are about to put on a clinic in tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. And there's a bone-crunching drop. Uh-oh, no, don't do this. I got right to the gut. And Byron, this takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael. But you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. Suplex. Back now inside the ring. Her chop lands flush. Well, Peyton Royce's career is just getting started, guys. I'd say she has already accomplished a great deal including being named the 2016 NXT Breakout Star of the Year alongside Billy Kay. Tag. Wow. That NXT 
Breakout Star of the Year award Michael brings up is something for Peyton to be proud of, especially when you look at the schoolboy. Here we go. Here's a cover, and it's Peyton Royce kicking out with ease. She's still in this one. Forearm to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. One of the things I like best about Carmella, guys, is just how feisty she is. From the moment her music hits all the way through the final bell, she just has this undeniable spunk about it. among the most feisty superstars around today. Though there are times when that feistiness borders on being a bit on the brash side. <laughs> you can call it feistiness, you can call it brashness, call it whatever you want. The bottom line is, Mella is money. Fireman's carry, this doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got trouble written all over it. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Split leg, leg drop. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. If you remember, guys, Carmella's introduction to the main roster came in 2016 when she was the final pick in the WWE brand extension draft. Look at this, going for the double play with this move. Byron noted how Carmella was the final pick in the 2016 draft. I think in a lot of ways, seeing more than 50 superstars get selected before her gave Carmella a bit of a chip on her shoulder. Yeah, it definitely motivated her, Cole. And fast forward less than two years later, and Carmella became SmackDown Women's Champion. Talk about a meteoric rise. Nothing fancy about that. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Looks like we're going to get the tag. Look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Drop kick. Beautiful. And she got her with a clothesline. Hammerlock applied. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. Break their arm. Oh, oh man. Gosh, why? Sasha Banks is in a dangerous position here. Yeah, things not looking up for the boss. Heard her partner make it a great tag team. Oof. We'll see what they're made of here. I don't know what happened. She looked to be in oh, Billy Kay has her down. But is it enough to she goes for the cover? You're not gonna get her that easy. Wow. She is on fire. She's got her in her sights. Wow, she hits her with the boot. She has got to take advantage here. She goes for the cover. Hurricane Absolutely incredible. And she gets the shoulders up. Just power out. She got her 
good there. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. We're looking at complete domination here. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Takes her off her feet. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. Peyton Royce was able to get out of the way there. Oh, you got to love Peyton Royce. That spinning leg lariat. Wow, she's fought her way all the way. We got to cover. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. Here's the leg lock. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. Looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the new... What's Peyton Royce about to make happen? Oh, this one... Shoulders down, is it enough? Too close for cover. Wow, Carmella somehow digs deep and finds a way to keep fighting. She's a beast. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends her elbow. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a lot. Oh no, look at this. She should be ashamed of herself. They got it. Ah, oh, come on. By any means necessary, Cole. No doubt that was a match people will be telling their kids about for years to come. Here's another look. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable kind. Taking a shortcut here. Come on, Rob, you can't let him get away with that. Are your winners, Pizza Royce and Billy Kay, the Iconics. You heard the ring announcer. This one's over. And here's your winner. With wins like that, there's no way these two should even think about splitting up. Just my opinion. What a great tag team match. Thanks for watching, everybody.